Hi everybody, Pat Falvey here and uh, I'd just like to introduce you to the fact that we're starting our new Alpine Skills on the 9th of April this year and uh, lots of calls have come in to ask me like what will it be all about especially the scenes being done here in Ireland and the main reason is that we're doing stuff like this is before we take our teams out onto the ice whether they're in the Alps, whether it's in the Himalaya, down in South America, what we want to do is we want to show people, you know, what to do in relation to doing their alpine skills before we go out so that we can actually spare time when we do. Uh, an actual fact, like if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. And our intention all the time is one of the leading Irish adventure companies, right, okay, with huge success all around the world is that we actually plan to succeed. Well, let me tell you a little bit about what's involved in the course. Uh, first and foremost, what we do is we learn all about rope skills, uh, in other words, tying in, glacier travel, uh, fixed rope techniques, which will be uh, using jumars. And I'll just show you uh, what a jumar is. Uh, here we can see, like, this is a jumar, and this goes on to a fixed rope. So we'll be talking a lot about that. Also, we'll be learning about this little tool here. This is uh, a lethal weapon. And uh, I'm going to take off my helmet because seeing I'm inside and I'm not out on the mountain. Uh, but we will learn about all the safety procedures that's involved. We will learn about how to use your ice axe properly. In other words, when you fall or if you do fall, which we're not intending that to happen, right? Falling on the ice axe and actually resting. How you will walk properly with your ice axe. How in the need, if you slip, what you're going to do. Now, in all my years, 30 years of actually being in the mountains, all the teams we train have never had an accident, mainly because of the reason that they prepare. So we will be talking about ice sacks. Also, we'll be talking about crampons. You know, these are lethal weapons. And as you can see, there's uh, 12 points, you know, that goes onto your feet, if it's a case you're using uh, snow and ice techniques. So we'll be doing all this in the controlled environment down here at the mountain lodge, you know, and okay, there is no need for snow and ice because what we're doing is we want to ensure that you know everything before you get out onto the snow and ice because I've been involved in a number of training skills courses abroad and we go out and we get three or four very bad days and we can't do anything and people, you know, don't get the chance to train properly. So we're going to do it here. We'll also talk about, about the types of gear, like about boots like this, plastic boots, are the need for the different types of gear that you will be using. So what's involved in the course? Yes, it's a question I get all the time. We will be doing all of the training, whether you're going on an expedition with us or whether you're going with somebody else, in other words, you might be doing it yourself. So what we will do is we will train you into the basic requirements that you will need. And once you get out into the snow and ice mountains, it's all about speed. It's about efficiency. It's about being able to do things with your eyes closed. So therefore, why not join us? And we will be doing it for six months from the 9th of April, one day every month. Uh, why not join us on one of those courses and come down, enjoy yourself. And even if you're doing nothing, this is absolutely a brilliant course. Okay, don't forget www.pafalvi.com, go into our climbing courses, and I look forward to seeing you. There's either myself or John Higgs that will be actually training you in the skills that you require to go out and actually do things like walking on snow and ice. Thank you very much, and happy adventures.